160 pound Division I state finalist is Connor McMahon of Stowe. He's in maroon wrestling Roy Daniels of Owen Tangy Liberty who is in blue. Both of these guys surprise finalists in what's been a surprise weight class. Probably the most uncertain class in Division I was 160. No real favorite. One of the few classes without a returning state champion. And it has not gone to form. McMahon finished fourth in his own district yet finds himself in state finals. Won a thriller last night. 8-6 in overtime. Scored right at the buzzer of overtime to beat state title favorite Jake Davis of St. Ed's. Daniels also won himself a good one. 3-2 in the ultimate tiebreak is McMahon in on a single. Daniels wizards. Now McMahon limp arms out, dragging Daniels back. Can't quite kick the leg out as Daniels hops away. McMahon drags him all the way back to the center, whiffs again that strike two. Now dives, covers, no two. Daniels out on the edge. McMahon can't quite drag his feet. We're scoreless through a minute at 160. McMahon was placed twice here in Columbus. He is a senior, 32 and three on the season. Two of those three losses at kind of a nightmare district tournament. Now it's Daniels with a go behind. And he gets his two on the edge. We're out of bounds. 34 seconds left, Roy Daniels up 2-0. Trying to become our first state champ from the Columbus area in Division One tonight. from the Menor region, the famed Menor meat grinder. Now tilt the town Daniels. McMahon had a pair of reversals last night on Davis. There's another one as he reverses Daniels. 18 seconds left in this one. We're tied at two. His best offense seems to be getting taken down and then spinning the other guy around. Eight seconds to go. We'll go back to center. McMahon and Daniels tied at two. from Stowe. I think rumor has it he may end up with Kent State. Well, to the best of my knowledge, college plans haven't been finalized. Escaped their Daniels with three seconds left. Huge going forward. It does the trick of wiping McMahon's reversal off the scoreboard. Daniels go, or will Defer, I don't think I've seen the choice followed by the defer before. McMahon goes under, Daniels shows optional start. Not sure if this is a riding technique or if he is going to kick him. He does follow and kick, so McMahon is out and we're tied at three to start the second period. Half shot, McMahon walks his back middle. Shoots through a hook, nothing doing, or McMahon shoots through a hook, nothing doing. Daniels had a short offensive attempt. Inside trip there, McMahon, nothing. As Daniels breaks tie, steps back out, and with a minute 30 left, we'll go back. 3-3 three, three our score. Again, Daniel clears a tie, shoots from outside. Circles back in again. One minute left, second period tie score. It'll be Daniel's choice in the third. Single attempt there, McMahon. He's in deep. Daniel's trying to scramble with him. He's looped across the waist. McMahon drives now up through the back door. Still has a single. This is where he couldn't score before. Inside trip, roll. Daniels passes through and out, 37 seconds left, still tied 3-3. McMahon's been in all over that leg twice. Nothing to show for it, though. Now, double McMahon, Wizard. Daniels, 29 seconds left, he'll hang there, milk a little clock. 
duck attempt there. McMahon goes behind, can't quite score, but has the leg. Finally is able to trip and score. They give two. Olin Tangent Liberty coach is not happy. But Connor McMahon now leads 5-3, 13 seconds to go. McMahon would be our third champion from the OEC conference joining the two wrestlers from Solon, Kalika and Thompson. They still have Michael Baker of Twinsburg left to wrestle. It'll be 13 seconds left on our restart. 5-3 score. McMahon covers Daniels almost up and out. He hops away, so twice he's been able to escape within the last 10 seconds of a period. Really stolen two points from McMahon. 5-4, have a chance to tie things at five as he goes under to start the third. And McMahon may be better off just cutting him and give himself a full two minutes to score. Instead, he'll cover and ride. Daniels is underneath with caution on top. Or caution on bottom, I'm sorry, green. Covers. And he slides there. Daniel is almost out. McMahon drops low leg. Covers Daniels again, trying to kick away. He can't quite circle back as Daniel or as McMahon covers the other leg. And 15 seconds into the period, Connor McMahon still leads 5-4. trips. Now he's cross body, pulls the arm back. If he can loop through, he could potentially tilt. Can't quite as he loses the arm. 90 seconds left in this one. Connor McMahon up one, attempting to ride the win. We're getting down to no time left in this one. Ortega 
taking our time to restart. 36 left. Daniels again to his feet. McMahon lifts, sits him back. Daniels swims for a head, almost there. He's out. High score with 25 seconds left. 5-5. Five, five. And we'll get a locked hands on McMahon, so it's 6-5. 15 seconds left, Daniels hanging on to a lead there. We get a stall warning, Daniels for going out, 11 seconds to go. McMahon locks his hands and trying to continue to ride. Crowd is not happy, McMahon stalks forward, now gets on a leg, hard wizard from Daniels, five to go, no two yet. He's trying to cover the head, still wizarding his Daniels, and that'll do it, Roy Daniels, your champion. 160 pounds by 6-5 decision. The first Columbus area champion of the evening in big schools goes to Olin Tangy Liberty. And that locked hands call makes a difference. Roy Daniels, your winner.